Sagittarius, it is time for your mid-August to September reading of this current year. Yay! I hope y'all are doing just a damn thing. I'm doing lovely. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, this is just a card game. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? Doink on your nose. Anyway, um, if you want a personal reading after this, you can go to my email, Instagram, or Facebook. I'll list it in the description box below. Take in Corey's there. Uh, I don't charge for first reading. It's on the house. Everything else comes with the price afterwards. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very much. Okay. We got the High Priestess, the Devil, the Seven of Cups reverse. All of them are reverse. Sag. There's some emotionally unfulfilling thing that's actually draining you, leaving you empty. Someone's trying to sneak off. Uh, someone's hiding shit. There are a lot of risks involved with the sneaking off, apparently. Someone is afraid or rejecting the end ending things and the connection between one or another. With the Ace of Cups reverse, no new beginning, no apologies, no love offered. Queen of Swords, Sagittarius. Making logical decisions, possibly being cutthroat if you gotta be. Cutting things out that are unnecessary to her. All this shit's behind her, so I assume this is all unnecessary. Hmm. That's some harshness, I have to say. Alright. So it's like, someone's not saying something about the risk they're taking, and they're afraid of ending things or cutting things off with somebody. Just severing the life support in them. It's helping them grow. They're trying to sneak off a little bit because they don't feel fulfilled and they really don't want to start anything. Could be you. Cross watchers, switch around if you need to. No biggie, right? Person that's hiding the secrets, right? Is that they're sad and they're really upset that things went the way that they did. Like, not only can they, they cannot collect that shit, like, they can't even, like, take it because it's in sand. <clears throat> and they feel like this shit ended way too soon. <clears throat> like, they had to leave this shit when they still felt so attached. Like, it was as valuable as their childhood and they had to leave it behind. Just memories now, right? The devil, though, is reversed. And he's sneaking away from shit. Why is he sneaking away from shit? Oh, because someone keeps trying to tempt him to come out and play. Which is a no-go. No. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but this person's just like, ah, yeah, this parent is just trying to get away from this stuff that, like, pulls them out of wherever their guard is. Usually successfully, I'll say. Like, this person successfully, like, um, breaks their barrier down, and now they want to turn their back to it, because it's like they have no power over it. It's just like, if it does not serve me, I want no control over it. Kind of deal. This person, Sagittarius, is emotionally empty or unfulfilled, or they just feel like the shit's not there anymore. There's Miss Fanna Mae. Could be a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. She sits comfortably by herself alone, making her own money, doing her own thing. And she sees the tower when she knows the tower when she fucking sees it, that's for sure. Like you know, Earth signs are pretty practical. Um they're capable of looking at things for how they actually are aside from emotion because you know emotion isn't always necessary to assess situations so this queen of pentacle right here might be looking over a situation for what it actually is not allowing the emotions that are not even there anymore to come into play just being practical about it right and practically seeing that there's a tower waiting to happen 
and being like, I don't think so. I'm perfectly fine over here. You go ahead with somebody else. Thank you very much. Obstacle and challenge coming against somebody. Yeah, it's like this person's like so fucking tired. Like they've already played the games. Like they've already played the games. That's why they're suitable by themselves because this is a want and a wish. This person's like tired of letting their guard down to somebody who's always tempting them out. And it could be a earth sign they're looking at. Like maybe this earth sign doesn't fulfill them the way they thought that it would. Or maybe they're just like, I don't know. It's like they're a... It's like they love the scenario more than the person. Almost like it's convenient. Now there are some risks here. And that's the obstacle and challenge, right? What's the obstacle and challenge, please? Not say not standing up for yourself and wasting your time. Hmm. That's a weird risk, like not speaking up, not defending yourself and wasting your time. Like, you know, almost feeling like someone's keeping you captive there by on your will and you actually want to escape. You're not trying to waste time, but time is being wasted and you feel like you're being held up by people, you know? Uh... Huh. Weird Sagittarius. Um... Thinking about cutting things off, possibly with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or using your emotions to ascertain whether this is a fear or a rejection. Because I feel like you don't know. Um, yeah, you're afraid of giving your cup out wholeheartedly like the Queen is? There's nothing covering that cup? I don't- well, maybe it is. I can't tell if that's a lid or if it's just a weird designed cup. But she's holding it out, being like, come, take it. But you're afraid of possibly becoming addicted to that? Dude's like a zombie, you know, accidentally idolizing somebody to the point where, like, you can't get enough of them. And maybe that's a fear you get. Like, yeah, like, that's the attachment that you're afraid of. Like, maybe you're afraid you got attached too early and now you're all sad about it. Which is like, there's nothing wrong with attachment. We all get attached too quick to things. Let's see, Ace of Cups. What's bringing this shit full circle? It started with this and it's ending with this. It's like... It's like there was almost like there was no commitment expected and then like... Whoever this queer is is surprised that like there's no commitment. Which is just like, well what do you- wait, what did you expect? That's literally like what you asked for. Like you asked for- it's almost like they asked for a relationship with no commitment. And now we're shocked that, like, a relationship with no commitment has no commitment. But that's just me. Like, I'm probably, like, coming off a bit harsh, and I'm not meaning to. And I'm not trying to knock the person, but it's like, it's almost like they didn't realize what they were asking for. Sorry, I'm lighting an incense, and it's like, yeah, there we go. Like my other one ran out, and this one is, like, the nicest. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. It's like someone got what they wanted, and then, and then, like, you know, they were all upset when they got exactly what they asked for. Almost like a friends with benefits kind of thing? I'm not sure. Anyway, what's with this Ace of Cups right here? This one. Someone is freeing themselves from this situation where there is no love. Get on you, man. Get on you. Because they're tired of feeling like they're left out in the cold. I feel like this person expects, like... I don't know, it's like... Like, the only cups that seems to matter to this person is their own. You know, and they're not thinking of the other person. Like, it's like they're all upset because they're not getting, like... The commitment, but it's like they're not really invested in the other person enough to get any emotions from them. 
You know, it's like they're completely ignoring that the other person's a human being. And when you tell them something, they're actually probably going to do exactly what you tell them to do. And if you're, if it's like a relationship where you're not asking for some sort of commitment, like, you can't expect somebody to, like, give, give you the emotions you ask them not to give you. I guess. I don't know. This is, like, kind of awkward. I don't know who you got, who's wrapped up in this, Sag. But it's kind of like they're, um, confusing themselves more than they are confusing the other person. Which is then confusing the person on a double whammy, and then they're just like, I don't, I don't fucking understand. What the hell did I do? You know, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Okay, the ending theme. Um, not trying... Like, being decisive. Yeah, and deciding not to resurrect this scenario. Okay? Crazy tasty shit. Not going to... Uh, the dead fucking phoenix that died somehow. We don't know how, but it's dead. But I think they're aware that once it, get res it gets resurrected, it's going to burn up the entire town. And they're just like, you know what, I'm not going to be anywhere near that. I, I, I don't want to, I'm allergic to the pain. I can't do that shit, you know? Now, there is some sort of truth or clarity when it comes to a home situation that would definitely end the conflict, right? Oh, God. Ugh. Uh, but someone was playing some fucking games just to be victorious because they were insecure in their own shit, dealing with their own secrets when it comes to love and shit, right? Possibly with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Uh, like they're scarred or something. But they act like everybody was... It's like... Someone beat them up, and now everybody who comes up to them is probably going to beat them up, too, in their head. And then they, like, reflex, and it's just kind of like, I get close to you because I was close to the last person, you know. That whole thing, like, it's like they don't know how to love themselves yet in order to understand that people do what people do. Like, they don't want something to end, and there's a Scorpio card at that, or something isn't dying. Even though the Wheel of Fortune is turning. And a tower... Here a tower. There you go. Have a little tower in you. Uh, hold up your street. Hmm. Okay, this query, it's kind of like they don't want to end things, Sag. But the Wheel of Fortune's coming up and being like, hey, there's going to be some truth um, set as a bomb, right? And it's almost calling you to temper yourself when it comes to this separation. Because she's holding, you know, the lion's mouth closed for a fucking reason. Because it'll maul people. And she's the only person that can control it. Who? Oh my god. Who can control it, right? She is the only one. And it's like, you have to be able to control your own mouth when it comes to the separation that might come up. Because someone might just say some bullshit that you don't like. And, and, you know, Sag, like, y'all got a habit of, like, just chewing the fuck out of people and spitting them out and then reminding them what you just did. And then praying to the Lord for forgiving you for beating their ass right in front of the person after you beat your ass. And then that person being like, do you really have to do that in front of me? And then you're all like, Lord, please, like, help me so I don't beat this bitch's ass again so she don't interrupt my prayers. <laughs> Like, you guys would do that, too, to say harsh shit. But it's like, I feel like you gotta restrain yourself a little bit when it comes to, like, some sort of separation with somebody else. Uh, and I feel like it really wasn't as attached as you thought it was. I don't, I don't think you're as attached as you think you are. I think you're just going through this whole emotional spell a little bit too much. Like, it's cool. Like, you know, it, it's not a dramatic adventure. It's not turn a page, you know? But whoever is dealing with this scenario is just kind of like, this spirit right here is very, um... Uh, I don't know, 
it's kind of like... It's almost like they figure shit out way too late. Like, with the Five of Swords and the Six of Wands, I almost want to say, you know, they kind of bully people into doing the shit that they say that they're going to do, and then they have Victorious, like, I was absolutely right, or something. I don't know. <laughs> this person's kind of funny. Like, I feel for them, I really do, because I don't think they realize that they do this shit. Like, I, I really don't, so I kind of feel for them. I don't mean to make fun of you. I'm sorry, but, you know. Shit happens, man. We're all losers in our own way, and believe me, I am just as much a loser as the rest of y'all. But that is it, Sagittarius. So, that is your reading. Yay. If you want to like, share, subscribe, you may go ahead and do so. I'll totally enjoy it. You guys don't have to, though. Like, free will and all, right? I will see you guys later. I love you. I hope if you guys are dealing with somebody who's like this, like, they figure out what it is they're trying to do because... I think it's confusing you. And Cross Watchers is probably confusing the fuck out of you. And I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, I have no idea. But, that's what we're doing right now. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.